Hello everyone. In my previous video, we learned about living and non-living things. Today we are going to learn about plants and their parts and also we'll know what is the importance of their individual parts. So are you ready? What is a plant? Take a guess. It is a living thing. It grows in soil, water or any other plant. It usually has a root and shoot system. It uses solar energy to survive and make its food. It produces seeds to reproduce. So plant is a living thing that grows in soil or water. It uses the solar energy to make its food. It generally has root, stem, leaves, sometimes flower and fruit also. Let's take a look at some of the main parts of plants. So plant is basically divided into two systems. One is root system which grows under soil and the other one is shoot system which grows above soil. The first part of the plant is root that grows under soil. The second part which you can see here is a stem. The third part is leaf. The fourth main part is flower. And the fifth main part is fruit. So we saw that the plant is divided into two system. One is root system and the other one is shoot system. In root system we have root and in the shoot system we have four main parts stem, leaf, flower and fruit. Now let's understand the importance of individual parts of the plant. Why is root important to any of the plant? It is an anchorage of the plant. The root is the one which keeps the plant rooted inside the soil. Root also absorbs water and minerals from soil, which later on helps in the growth of a plant. It also do the conduction of these water and minerals to the shoot which you can see right now how the water and minerals are being conducted to the shoot system of the plant root also keep a reserve food which is utilized by the plants later on let's take a look at the stem of a plant Stem supports leaf, branches, flower, bud, fruits of a plant. So it's kind of a backbone of a plant. As we saw earlier that root absorbs water and minerals from the soil. But how it is transported to other parts of the plant? That is the work of stem. Stem transports water and minerals from root to other parts of a plant and when the leaves prepare the food of the plant then that food is also transported by stem to other parts of the plant so stem is very important let's see the importance of the third main part of the plant that is leaf Leaf produces food for plant. We know that plant makes their own food, right? And that's where leaf come into the action. They produces the food for plant. Leaf also helps 
exchange the gases in the atmosphere that they do with the help of photosynthesis now let's understand the process of photosynthesis by which leaf prepare the food for plant photo means light and synthesis means to make so the process used by leaves to prepare their food by converting light energy into chemical energy is called photosynthesis chlorophyll which is the green pigment in plant leaves captures the light of the sun and aid in the photosynthesis during the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide water and sunlight undergo a reaction and oxygen is released into the environment and the glucose is also formed that serve as food for plant plants use glucose for the growth of different plant parts so basically leaf is taking care of kitchen of the plant and preparing its food for growth let me tell you a very interesting fact in photosynthesis process oxygen is released and carbon dioxide is taken in by plant plant undergoes one more process called respiration in which carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere and oxygen is taken in to understand the difference between photosynthesis and respiration please watch my video named photosynthesis versus respiration or we understand the importance of flower let's take a close look at three main parts of flower stigma pollen and anther pollen grains are found on anther and the other one who gets transferred from one flower to another for the reproduction of plant and stigma is the one where the pollen grains are collected for the reproduction let's understand the importance of a flower in a plant the main important function of flower is reproduction of a plant so flower produces a sugar rich liquid which is nectar that attracts pollinators like bees so once the pollinator come to the flower and sits on the flower to collect the nectar the pollen on anther sticks to the pollinator and as the pollinator move to another flower the pollen grain is transferred to the stigma where the seeds are formed for the reproduction this whole process is called pollination and it allows plant to reproduce so in short the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of a flower for fertilization is called pollination this can be done by either wind water insects or animals and they are called pollinators now we understood why flower is so important for the reproduction process because seeds which we sow for the growth of a plant that are produced inside flower only So once the seed is produced in the flower and flower gets converted into the fruit where does the seed goes yeah that goes inside fruit right so the fruit protects seed fruit is a seed bearing reproductive unit it helps dispersing the seed because when we eat the fruit or animal eat the fruits then the seeds are the one which are left behind and that help in the reproduction that helps growing another plant fruits are therefore very well rich in vitamins and minerals 
we learned about what is plant and what are the main parts of plant so let's understand whether we really remember those or not can you guess what is the part which is right now highlighted it seems to be a part of root system of the plant it's root it absorbs water and minerals in the soil which is the second part it is stem it supports the plant leaves branches fruit flowers now can you guess which one is this this is our juicy fruit it protects the seeds which were prepared in flower which one is this one it is leaf leaf is the food maker of plant it performs photosynthesis and prepare food for plant and give us oxygen which one is this part this is flower this is the main part for the reproduction of plant i hope you enjoyed the video and learned about plants and their parts if you loved it please like and subscribe to kids funzy laugh and learn channel in my next videos i will share the different types of plants and the important things which we get from plants for now thank you and take care